Hi! We are recording from my house, so if my cats show up, well, you'll get to see the cats. So anyway, in this video, we are going to talk about step five, which is writing your thesis statement, okay? This is broken up into two parts, part A and part B. So first, we're going to start with part A. So if we look at the top part, uh, step five, write your thesis statement. Um, as you remember from the um, lesson in class, perhaps, or the materials um, on the page prior, or any other tutorial videos. Um, a thesis statement is a one sentence um, phrase that is an opinion claim that outlines the rest of your paper. Basically, it tells your people what are you going to argue about. Um, it basically tells them what you are going, what what you believe, um, and your two reasons. Um, part of the thing with a thesis statement, though, is we don't actually say the words I believe or I think. So if we were to look at my example, Miss Harden's example, which I will point out with my little cursor here, I believe medieval English queens were not damsels in distress, but strong feminist icons. That's what I believe. But in a thesis statement, we do not need to say, I believe, or I think, or I feel. Adding those phrases are just kind of redundant because my name is at the top of the paper and I don't need to tell people I, 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 okay? Um, so in my next box, I have the same phrase just without the phrase, I believe. Medieval English queens were not damsels in distress, but strong feminist icons. Then, um, since a thesis is what I believe plus um, reasons, I have my reasons. And according to my research, I discovered that one of the reasons that this was true was because they supported foreign policy by being diplomats and that they ruled the country during times of crisis or war. Now, I want to make sure that those uh, reasons are not super long. I don't need to tell my whole paper right away in one sentence. Just give them a little bit of information. Um, try your best to make it um, not so wordy. Uh, do your best. Um, but at this point, if you just need to write it down the best you can, you could always come back and make it sound better later, okay? That's a great opportunity to work together with the other people in the class, bounce ideas off each other. That's what good writers do. Good writers work together. Good writers don't just rely on the teacher, okay? So when you do this, you're going to write your I believe statement. You're going to write it again without the I believe, okay? Then you're going to list your two reasons. Those are the ones that you confirmed during your research. You're going to put it together by picking a transitional phrase, okay? If you don't know a transitional phrase, we have some for you. Make sure you pick one that sounds like it makes logical sense, okay? Um, I have an example. So if we go down, we have medieval English queens were not damsels in distress, but strong feminist icons due to, so I have my transitional phrase, their support of foreign policy, that's reason one, and reason two, the country, their ruling of the country during times of war. Okay, so that's a long sentence, but I have my belief statement, but I don't use the phrase I believe or I think or I feel. Um, I connect it with a transitional statement, due to, and then I have my two reasons. I make sure that my two reasons are not super wordy. Okay, um, once you have that, you indeed have your thesis statement. Holy cow you can do it. If you need help, you can look for more research, uh, uh, resources in Canvas. You can work with each other, or of course, you can always talk to your teacher, okay? But if your teacher can't get to you right away, just know that there are other resources, um, like your friends and other resources in Canvas, okay? Thank you.